Hello, I'm Dr. Carolyn Clancy, Director of the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, or ARC. I'm very proud of ARC's work to help find solutions to today's most pressing patient safety problems and to share that knowledge with all of you. Today, you'll be learning more about the importance of using a comprehensive unit-based safety program, or CUSP, to prevent infections and improve the quality and safety of the healthcare that you deliver to your patients every day. The CUSP model was originally developed at Johns Hopkins University with funding from ARC. A team at Johns Hopkins developed the model following the tragic and accidental death of an 18-month-old girl named Josie King at their facility. Josie died of severe dehydration and misused narcotics. After working closely with her family, the team designed the CUSP framework with the aim of reducing harm by creating a culture of patient safety at the hospital unit level. CUSP can be used by care providers in any setting. After implementing the program on your hospital unit, patient safety and care quality outcomes will improve dramatically, as we saw when CUSP was used to reduce central line bloodstream infections first in Michigan and then across the country. The toolkit has individual modules that feature videos, slide presentations, and teaching tools. When used together, these materials provide a comprehensive approach to preventing infections and improving patient safety. For example, one of the modules will help you work with your colleagues to make sense of problems observed by the team and to put processes in place to help make sure adverse events don't happen again. You and your team are the key to the success of CUSP and other safety improvement efforts. And while ARC helped to generate the evidence base for CUSP, we could not have gotten this far without the leadership of the American Hospital Association, which led the national implementation of the CUSPS framework. Now we'll hear from AHA's Rich Umdenstock about why CUSP should be an essential part of the work you do in your healthcare facility every day. Hello, I'm Rich Umdenstock, President and CEO of the American Hospital Association. The CUSP Toolkit is a valuable resource for healthcare organizations that want to prevent infections and improve safety. In it, you'll find a comprehensive framework for implementing a unit-based culture change. And changing culture is the way we will change the habits and behaviors that keep us from achieving our safety goals. As we all know, even one instance of patient harm is one too many. As your organization looks for ways to increase the quality of care your patients receive, the CUSP framework provides you with the knowledge, tools, and materials you need to implement powerful unit-based cultural change. And that in turn will improve the care your patients receive. The Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality partnered with the AHA on the national implementation of the On the Cusp Stop HAI initiatives. And the AHA was able to leverage its strong collaborative relationships with hospitals to work closely with ARC to implement the CUSP framework in hospitals across the country. We know that CUSP works because of the improvements in patient care that hospital unit teams achieved while participating in the initiatives. The teams that participated in the CUSP projects hailed from hospitals across the country. Each was unique in its size, location, facility type, and care specializations. The success witnessed in these diverse hospital units proves that CUSP is an invaluable tool for implementing unit-based culture change to improve patient safety outcomes. Now, the success witnessed on the national level would not have been possible without the support of our project participants. Special thanks are in order for the state hospital associations, their member hospitals, and the unit teams that participated in these projects. I also would like to congratulate each and every one of you for the achievements that your teams are making in patient safety. Your continuing hard work and dedication are making our hospitals safer and are improving the care our patients receive. CUSP provides users with a practical set of tools that support sustainable culture change on the hospital unit. 
It empowers unit staff members to take an active role in improving patient safety on their unit by improving unit level communication and teamwork strategies. We know that CUSP will prove to be an invaluable tool for your hospital. To help explain the success of the CUSP intervention, I would like to introduce to you our friend Ann Mercer from Mercy Memorial Hospital in Monroe, Michigan. Ann will share with you the success that her team had with implementing CUSP to improve patient care on their obstetrics unit. My name is Ann Mercer. I am a registered nurse who also has an MBA in um, health administration and I am a nurse manager of an OB unit currently. My entire 35 year career has been in maternal child uh, health. One of the tools that you use is the staff safety assessment and the staff safety assessment gives you an overview of what your department's issues are. From nurse-physician interaction, it reviews how the nurses feel and look at the department. It reviews how physicians feel and look at the department. It talks about communication issues. It talks about how safe the staff feels. Do they feel like they're understaffed? Do they feel like they're, they're tired? That, that there may be a safety event looming in the future? It really gives you an overview of your unit needs. The relationship between physician and nurses is vitally important for safety of the team. And I think it's something that really needs to be worked on. When you're looking at safety issues, you have to empower every member of the team to be able to speak up. You really have to have situations where physicians and nurses can get together. You want the physician in CUSP to really understand how to communicate well with the team. We tried to do some team building exercises. We try to do that every six months and we allow them to get together and have some open dialogue. What are the issues? What concerns do physicians have? What concerns do nurses have? How can we bridge that? And allow them to hear each other so that if they're able to hear each other, then when they're in a situation that's critical, then they will be able to communicate better. You want the physician in CUSP to really understand how to communicate well with the team. We put together a whole postpartum hemorrhage kit and the physicians were absolutely fascinated by that. We put the whole list together, we got their input. And, um, you know, one time one of the physicians came up on the unit, I want to see exactly where you're keeping that postpartum hemorrhage kit because I want to know, in case we have an emergency, I want to know exactly where it is. CUSP gets you some formalization of tools put together to help you so that in emergent situations you feel prepared. Usually one of the things that we do when we make rounds is we ask the patient, you know, do you feel like you got all the information you needed um, to take care of yourself and the baby? So I just want to ask you a few questions. Are there any concerns that you have that right. you want to share with us? And thank them for, you know, letting us take care of them because it, it really is a team effort and it's a privilege to be able to provide the safest care for them. I think the thing that I would really tell people is that CUSP gives you a blueprint for patient safety. And um, it's an ongoing situation. Um, you're never done assessing your patient safety. I think the other thing that I would say, if you're going to embark on CUSP, is you need all members of the team, a representative. Um, you can't just have your nurses involved and they want to move it forward. You just can't have your administration do it without physician and nursing support. You really need everybody to come together to say this is important. As you can see, CUSP is a unique and powerful tool that hospitals can use to improve patient care outcomes. Its approach to unit-centered culture change has contributed to impressive gains in the realms of quality improvement and patient-centered care. Through CUSP and other safety initiatives, hospitals are working together to share knowledge and information because we are committed to improving safety and transforming the quality of patient care. 
Thank you for the work you do every day.